episode two time. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to uh, the Yoshi Engine tutorial series. I'm Captain Curb, I'm your host, and today we're going to be starting the actual modding process. Uh, today we are going to be creating the first mod and also adding some characters to that mod, specifically two. So, let's get started. Now, in case you didn't watch the ending of episode 1, uh, we basically went through all of the what Yoshi Engine has to offer, and ended it off by enabling developer mode, which allows us to use this brand new uh, mode, which we are now going to click on. And this is going to be where you're going to do everything mod-wise. Now, as you can see, there is no mod projects, so we're going to click create a new mod. For this tutorial series, we're going to be creating a mod called Cassette Girl, because that's the uh, mod that I was recommended on Twitter.com, because, you know, that's what you do nowadays. Uh, for mod description, we're just going to do FNF mod, because that's what it is. Uh, you can change the name of your title bar, so in this case we'll go with Versus Cassette Girl. And once I've finished typing that, all that you now what you can do is you can choose a game icon, which as if we go back to um, if we go back to the folder, wrong folder. Uh, if we go to the mods for tutorials that I have here, we can find the uh, actual uh, image that we want to use for that. Now usually you have to kind of poke around a bit, but we'll find one. Uh, let's go with. Let's just find a find a credits image here that looks good. Um, sure, Discord looks good. And now, as you can see, uh, that game icon is right there. Now you can choose a mod icon, which will show up, and I'll explain exactly what that is. We, we're going to use. Oh, that's not good. The promo art does not work. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we have here. Do, 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 do. Um, we're going to use, we are going to use the promo art, I, I stand corrected. It may look a little crushed, uh, but that's because this is a tutorial. Usually what you'd want to do is you'd want to grab, uh, this logo here, and it would be in a good aspect ratio, uh, that you can use for that. But for this, we'll use... Oh, wait. No, there it is. Title logo. Right there. There we go. So now, what you can do is you can click test your title bar to make sure that everything's working. As you can see, our icon's showing up. Our icon changes down here. Our game logo is right there. All you have to do now is click create your mod. Once it says that, your mod has been created. Your mod has been created. As you can see here now, the drop-down menu has appeared and it shows uh, Cassette Girl. Once you start making more mods, you'll have a drop-down that will show more mods that you can obviously select to edit or delete. You can obviously delete this mod, I'm not going to because we're going to use it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click edit mod, and that's going to take us to this. Oh, and before we do that, uh, I mentioned this last tutorial, is that in our mods folder now, we have a third mod folder that contains a whole bunch of stuff for our mod. And we're going to be getting into that pretty shortly too, within the next couple of uh, tutorials. So now you're met with this absolute beast, and this is why this tutorial series exists, is to really dissect everything that comes with making this, uh, making a mod in this uh, engine, and showing why it is so great. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we are on the characters tab, we're going to click create a new character, and as we can see our character name's there. Uh, I actually had some custom sprites made for this tutorial by a great friend of mine, Chaz Bill YT. He's a great man. And uh, so we're going to do that. We're going to name him Curb. We're going to find his icon, which is going to be out here. Uh, it's right here. Uh, you can use psych icons. Psych icons work quite well. And then we're also going to create, uh, choose a sprite sheet in which you're just going to want to click the PNG. Click open. And as you can see, sprite sheet selected, three icons loaded. It supports both two icons and three icons, the engine does. 
uh, and we're currently working on getting animated icons working as well, so more updates on that in the future. Next, we're going to want to click Create. After that, you can see our character is now created. All that you have to do is click the dot here, and that will make it selected, and then all you have to do is click Edit. This may take a minute to load because it's loading for the first time. And now, as we can see, this is the character editor. Welcome to the character editor. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back out to uh, the to that uh, PNG and XML that I was showing you. And we're going to want to click on the XML because this has all of your uh, names of your different animations in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back here. And we're going to start off with the animations. Uh, basically, we're going to add all of these animations. So if we click Add here, as we can see, uh, this screen pops up, which allows you to add an animation. There are five basic animations plus any custom ones that you want to do that I will get into triggering a little bit later once we jump into the coding portion. So your five main ones, which we're going to do right now, is Idle. And all that you're going to do is you're going to find the one in your XML that usually has the name Idle in it or some kind of dancing beat is another one that's common. Click Paste. I didn't copy that. Uh, now we're going to click Paste, see now it works, and then we're going to click Add. And as you can see, he just did a lo little bop. Next one is the Sing Left Pose, and we're actually going to go in the order of the arrows as well. So we're going to grab his left pose from the XML, copy that, paste that in there, click add. As you can see, his pose has once again changed from left. Next, we're going to want to do the sing up pose and make sure that it is exactly written out as here. Otherwise, your character will not work in game. I will leave the actual... Uh, uh, I will leave the uh, actual names of each uh, after this, and you can screenshot it to use for your own purposes. We click paste here, and there's his up pose. All that we do now is the same down pose. And it, it's fairly simple to memorize once you get the hang of it, so it, it's not something that you need to stress yourself out too much. Or you know. There's his down pose, and his last one that we're going to do is his right pose. Grab this from here, copy that, and paste it in. There we go, that's all of his poses. Now as we can see, we're going to go back to the idle for a second, and we're going to click this little checkbox here that will show the dad and the BF. I use this for positioning all the time. If you're using a, if you're making a dad skin, we'll call it, uh, you use the dad for in terms of position reference because once we get into stage editor it makes uh, moving your characters around once you've made your stage a lot easier and take a lot less time. So basic navigation in the character editor is using your arrow keys and by using that we can obviously see my character here. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to line him up with daddy dearest over here. Uh, and we're going to do that through the character settings tab over here. And I'm actually going to change his scale a bit because he is a bit big. And what you're going- and obviously you can change his scale right there, I- I- I'm just kind of writing myself, you know? Uh, you can make it smaller by clicking the minus or bigger by pressing the plus. Right here is where you'll find, uh, a icon to flip your character, so let's say I'm making him as BF. I can flip him here, and he'll be facing that way, and he will face that way no matter what. But since we're going to be doing the Daddy Dearest, uh, we're going to put it there. And so this is your uh, variables in terms of movement. You can click right or left to make him go. Now, Friday Night Funkin' works a little bit weird, so sometimes it takes a little bit of playing around. But eventually, you'll get to the point where you'll know which one goes which, where. All that you do is you move him up to the point where you want him, and then we're going to move him up to, to match Daddy Dearest's feet. That's usually, when you're doing animations, one thing I like to look at is feet in terms of positioning. And as you can see, incredibly tall character, let's just shrink him a bit more, and we'll move him down, and a bit more, there we go. And now as we can see, 
our character is all good to go. Next what we're going to want to do is click off of this and click set as shadow reference. This is going to be great for the other poses, especially when you have characters that move around a lot, because you will get some that will have interesting poses. You can also change the camera offset right here, and we'll get into that a little bit more later when we need to move it around once we get to the stages. Next, what we're going to do is I'm going to go through these little tabs with you. For the arrow colors, you can actually change what color each arrow is when you're using the default arrows in the game. So for him, we're going to make one blue, we're going to make one yellow, and we're going to make one blue and one yellow. Just like so. As you can see, different arrow colors. You can also click use player colors, but we're not going to want that, so we'll hit turn that off. Next, we have our help bar, which as you can see, our icon has automatically loaded here and our colors have even automatically loaded but what you want but you what you can do is you can click edit and you can change the health bar color right here so let's say i want him to be a yellow health bar just change that to a yellow and there we go now his colors yellow the engine also features um two other ways to choose colors based off the actual color of your icon you can use the light version, which I usually use whenever I'm making mine, or you can use mixed, which I actually like better for this icon, which basically takes the two colors that are present in the icon and mixes them and then gives you a result. Very cool and it's uh, very useful. So next what we're going to do is we're going to offset his animations. What you can do is you can click this drop down box and as you can see if we click right, you can see he starts singing right. Now, the great thing about this character for the tutorial series is that he doesn't actually move a lot, but we're going to be doing another character after that will definitely need offsets. So as you can see, no offsets are actually required for this character, because he's great. And all that we have to do now, click save, your character has been successfully saved, and then go out. Now, once we're out in this menu, what you can do is you can click this, and you can click preview. This will bring up your character once it loads, and it'll show him in his idle pose. You can also change it so that you can see his different poses. Now as you can see, he looks pretty good. And I'm going to pause here for just a second in case anyone wants to screenshot these five basic animations. Don't grab the dance animation though. That one is only for this specific, um, that's only for his idle looping. Okay, so now we're going to be adding Cassette Girl into the game. And what we're going to do is we're going to click Create. We're going to add our character. And then we're going to choose her icons by going into the Cassette Girl mod, going into Assets, going into Images, going into Icons, and finding her icons. As you can see, two icons loaded. It's different because she only has two. Go into Assets, go into Shared, go into Images, we're going to go into the Characters, and we're going to find the CassetteGirl.png, and we're going to click that. As you can see, Sprite Sheet selected. Click Create. Now for this, I'm going to go a little bit faster since uh, you should now have the Character Editor pretty much grasped, and if you don't, you can always record rewind the video. Now as you can see, she's a little bit nicer to do, so we'll move Daddy Dearest and BF there, and we'll start adding her animations. We'll start off with her idle, oh, I should close that, and then go into the Cassette Girl mod, go into Assets, go into Shared, Images, Characters, and then find her XML, go here, and all that we, and as you can see, Cassette Girl idle. Right there. Add that. There's her idol. Sing left. And all that you do is you just highlight that, copy that, paste it in. There's her left. And next is her up. Sing up. Find her up animation right there. Copy that, paste that, there we go. Next you want to add down, 
down. Find her down animation. Paste that in. And finally, we're going to add in her right animation. Find the right one right there. Paste that in and add it. Perfect! So as you can see that works, we go to character settings now, and we're going to move her over until her feet line up with Daddy Dearest. Uh, that looks about right, I'd say. Now we turn that off, go to idle, set that as the shadow reference, just to make sure that lines up, yep. And now we're going to offset each of the other ones. Now her sing right, uh, in case you haven't noticed, is a little bit off from that. So what you can do up here is you can actually offset your animation. What you can do is you can press this to offset the X and press this to offset the Y. This is only for the animations, this will not affect the entire character. This will affect the entire character. Okay, so we're gonna click down. Her down looks pretty good. Her uh, left. Her left looks pretty good, but let's see if we can move that a little bit. Uh, wrong. Nope, that, that, her left, her left is good. Her up is good! So look at that, we've got two characters that don't need a whole lot of offsetting, but you will have some that will need offsetting. So with that, we click save, and all that we do is we exit, and there we go! We have a character. All that we do is click this, and click preview, and boom, there she is. And now, as we can see, her different animations. And that's pretty much it. That's it for uh, creating mods and characters in the Yoshi engine. Uh, for our next tutorial, we will be covering songs. And weeks. So stay tuned for that. And uh, until next time, see you guys.